We had to refilm this because we're retarded. Anyway. Well, he's retarded. Well, yeah, we didn't get the camera set up right. I'll and someone's head got cut off. I'm not going to say who. But, um, anyway. <laughs> okay. This is my friend, Tamsin. She's 11. Also, we're wives. I'm not a pervert or a pedophile. <laughs> I've known her sisters for, like, 11 years. And then this we got is, married. I'm also married to one of her older sister. Two. I'm not married to her other older sister. I'm just dating her other right. older oh, sister. Oh, well, you're technically... So confusing. Scoot in. Okay. This is my brother. No. I've taken him to movies. You've heard about it. You're squeezing my head. Don't be weird in front of camera. It's just a camera. I'm just saying. Squeeze my head. Okay. We're here to tell you about How to Train Your Dragon. Pretty good movie. Excellent movie. I think as far as cartoons go, it's really funny. Uh, not as good as Coraline, though. Yeah, she's a, a little obsessed with Coraline. Just just a little bit. But, uh, Coraline. anyway. Cor uh, Coraline's good, too. How to Train Your Dragon, we went and saw this in 3D. Um, because we thought, why not? It looks, it looks pretty good, too. But we were too close to the screen to actually get any 3D effects. We were in the third row from the front. True. Because it was packed. And, um, anyway... We saw it, and the 3D effects from what we saw, there's some really cool stuff in it. Like when the dragons came out from the bottom of the screen, and they that flew, cool. when they were flying and stuff, it looks super cool. Um, Go pee in, like, the first half hour, because the first half hour is really pretty. It's kind of slow. Yeah. Slow it doesn't, moving. and then about into it, it gets good. And yeah. there was one scene, and if you've seen this already, I don't know if you jumped at this part, involved a volcano. You made us jump. A little. Just a little bit, you know. Yeah, you jumped quite a bit. I was sitting right yeah. next to you. I hit my knee. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, um, I would say that this movie is age appropriate for almost anybody over the age of six. Actually, everybody over the age of, age of six could probably handle this movie. Just as long as they're not whiny. She doesn't like whiny children in theaters, whiny and I can't blame her because I don't either. Either. Now, if anybody under the age of six, unless you know that child really well, I would say check out the movie first, like look on a site or something first before you decide if you're going to take them to it. There's a couple, it's a very suspenseful movie for a cartoon, shockingly. Especially but, for little kids. That exactly. very, very terrifying. Yeah. It's like about dragons. For, knives and you're just like, ah. It's about dragons, for God's sakes. It's going to be terrifying. Um, dragons, the voice like cast is though. fantastic. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah, the voice cast is really yes. good. Um, the animation looks beautiful. It's an animated movie, and it looks good. I could barely tell it was animated for a few minutes. You're right. That's retarded, because it totally looked animated. No, like, at one part, the arms were, like, beautiful. Just gonna point that out. I like when they're in the okay. clouds. Shut up, Henry. Okay. That you're... is a good scene, when they're in the clouds, it looks really cool. But anyway. Yeah, you're just a bead and using your top power saying shut up. Okay. Anyway, How to Train Your Dragon. I would give it three and a half to four stars out of five. Tamsin, what would you give it? Probably five, six, four, seven out of ten. It right in the middle. Henry, are you gonna do ten or five? A five out of a ten. Really? Yeah. This is disappointing. Okay, though. Anyway, check it out. It is one of those movies, though, that if you don't want to see it in three D, it's okay. You can wait till the DVD. Yeah. But definitely you... something to wait for because yeah. some of the three D. It wasn't so. There weren't. Maybe because we were just sitting in the front, but there weren't really so many, like, to die for 3D moments. Exactly. Really, really good parts. Personally, honestly. I didn't think about Avatar either. Yeah. Because Avatar, there's, like, two parts when I thought was actual 3D. Jellyfish. Exactly. But for the most part, it was just depth, and it got it hurt my brain. I had to take yeah. off my glasses for about five minutes, and it looked yeah. totally fine. But anyway. It's like totally flushing colors flashing in your eyes, and you're like, out my eyeballs. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, the next video, I'm probably going to go see Hot Tub Time Machine tonight. And I think that looks hilarious. And I'm probably going to see that tonight. Um, I'll have a video up maybe tomorrow. I if I can. Be here. She won't be here because she can't go see it. She did not get permission from her parents. And I'm not taking him to see a movie like that. Isn't there boobs in that one? I've heard there's boobs. <laughs> yeah, most likely. I'm not taking an 11 year old boy to a movie with boobs. Because that's just. Uh, especially really that one. Really dancing. <laughs> really. I'm just that way. Just wanted to know. What? Actually, I'd take any of them. If their parents were okay with it, I'd take them to any R-rated movie, but... Well, his parents are the same as your parents, you know that. Yeah, but I'm 17. I can go see any movie I want. Let's just end the video here. We should. Anyway, How to Train Your Dragon's good. 
who knows, in the future, for any any movie in the future, they might be here. Preferably her, because he did nothing to support this video. Um, I say it's a good movie. I know, but you're weird on camera. It's good enough. You're just saying it's a good movie. So yeah, these are my co-hosts. Uh, they're fun. I'm a better co-host. True. And there might yeah, be a co-host with true. her sisters in it in the future. There might be Possibly. other co-hosts in the future. Like, I think me and her, one of her sisters wants to go see The Runaways, and there could be a review of that in, um... Buy like, my stuff. Make a puppet show out of it. Put my name on the cover and make me really, really rich. Please? What the hell is I that? don't know what that was for. I did not script that. I did not script, script any of this. This was all off-the-wall randomness. <laughs> and someone just stuck their hand in my pants. So, I got it. I'm gonna go, yeah, that'd be incest. I'm gonna stop this video now before it gets any worse and say, check out, you know, it's a good movie. Check it's out Sue's Corner. What? Yeah, uh, she likes Glee too, so, yeah.